Welcome, my name is Ashley Hoover and I'm a communicable disease epidemiologist at the Northwest Tribal Epidemiology Center, helping Northwest tribes with communicable disease data analysis and disease investigation. This short video on how to obtain health data is the second in a series of videos designed to help you obtain and use health data. To see the rest of the videos, visit the link shown below. Okay, let's begin. We all know that health data is useful because it can help us watch health trends in our communities and respond by creating beneficial policies and programs. But how do you know if the health data you are looking for exists? And if it does exist, how do you obtain it? Fortunately, there are many sources of health data for tribes and native serving organizations, as well as tried and true ways to obtain it. In this video, we will discuss what health data exists, how to obtain the data, and useful people and organizations to reach out to if you get stuck. A quick note before we get started. If you are struggling to decide if requesting health data is the best choice for you and the people you serve, consider visiting Native Data at nativedata.npaihb.org. Native Data has easy to use tools to help you define your health data goals. For example, Native Data has an entire section devoted to defining your data goals. Native Data also has handouts on different topics. This handout provides potential considerations to keep in mind when deciding if requesting health data is the best choice. When you are seeking to obtain health data, you have to first learn what data exists and who holds the data. A good piece of knowledge and insider tip is that Tribes, counties, states, and the federal government all regularly collect health data and databases. And they all have different processes in place to protect the people whose lives are represented in the data. With that in mind, there are several common databases used in tribal public health. For example, the U.S. Cancer Statistics Database includes information about many different cancers and how these cancers affect different groups of people. It also includes information on different factors that influence how people are impacted by cancers. To learn if the data you are looking for exists, click on the link below to read this handout from Native Data about common databases in tribal public health. Not finding what you're looking for here? Reach out to these data supports for tribes and native serving organizations. Let's talk about making a formal data request. Tribes and native serving organizations who want to use data from state, local, or federal entities often need to make a request to access the data. Although the requirements for the data request will be different depending on who holds the data, there are some general tips to keep in mind that can help you out when making a data request. Be clear about how you plan to use the data. When you reach out to someone to request data, they will want to know how you plan on using the data. Be sure to clearly describe your data request. If you are new to this process, consider completing this worksheet before making the ask. Communicate whether data will be used for public health practice or research. One common question you will be asked when you make a request for data is whether you plan on using the data for public health practice or for research. Public health practice includes when data is requested and used by a public health authority, like a tribe or their authorized partner, to prevent or control disease or injury, or understand and improve the health of a specific population or group. Here is a table that can help you decide whether you plan on using data for public health practice or for research. Take a moment to read the table. As you can see, generally, when data is used for public health practice, the potential benefits and risks from using the data impact the community and individuals who shared their information. With research, on the other hand, data are used to contribute to knowledge that will benefit those beyond the community and individuals who shared their information. If you are uncertain whether or not the work you are doing is considered public health practice or research, consult with an Institutional Review Board, or IRB. This list of Indian Health Service and tribal IRBs is a great starting place to find local contacts. 
However, note that there may be tribal research committees or boards not listed. The HHS Office for Human Research Protections also provides in-depth information and contacts. When making a request for obtaining health data, it's important to be mindful of the permissions or approvals you will need first. Depending on your tribe's or organization's requirements, you may need multiple internal approvals to obtain data from an outside entity. Approvals might include approval through a resolution from your tribal council or governing board, approval from tribal research review committees or boards, or approval from specific departments within your tribe or organization. It's important to know who your tribe or organization requires to be involved. Planning for the approval process can help your data request go smoothly. The process of obtaining data from an outside entity can be long. Make sure that you have a good understanding of both your own and the outside entity's timelines. You can obtain data through different types of data agreements. If you are requesting data from an outside entity, ask if they have a template of an agreement that can be adapted. Your legal counsel, tribal epidemiology center, and other decision makers at your tribe or organization can help you with this. Keep in mind that tribes have the right to tribal data sovereignty. Tribal data sovereignty is the right to control the collection, ownership, and use of tribal data. Principles of tribal or indigenous data sovereignty can apply to data on American Indian and Alaska Native people off tribal lands. Tribes and some native serving organizations also have a public health authority status. Legitimate data sharing agreements and partnerships support tribal sovereignty, data sovereignty, and public health authority. To learn more about tribal data sovereignty and public health authority status, click the links below. After learning about the process of obtaining health data, you may find that the data collected by outside agencies do not meet your needs. When this is the case, you may consider collecting your own data. Got questions? Don't know where to start? Consider connecting with the Northwest Tribal Epidemiology Center or the tech that serves your region. Techs are a great resource when it comes to health data. Not only can they help you with obtaining data, collecting your own data, and analyzing and interpreting data, they can also help you translate your data into action through creating strategic plans, developing data-driven policies, and creating effective presentations and reports. You can learn more about TECS at www.tribalepicenters.org. If you are a member of a tribe in the Pacific Northwest and you need data services, contact the Northwest Tech at NPAIHB at mpaihb.org. If you are outside of the Pacific Northwest, visit the Tribal Epicenter's website to find contact information for the tech director in your region. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. If you have any additional questions about obtaining health data or would like to see examples of how others have obtained health data, Visit Native Data at nativedata.mpaihb.org and click on Obtaining Health Data or contact your local tech. To see the next video in this series on interpreting health data, click on the link shown to the left.